from every form of unrighteousness, from every form of immorality. Know his will. Know what he wants. The Lord made a way for him. That is what he wants. God bless you. Thanks for joining me for divine instructions to live by. I'm sure you are doing well. And I pray that God will continue to protect you and your family members from every harm in the mighty name of Jesus. This is divine instructions to live by. And um, as I love to say, this is to remind you of God's instructions, of God's command, of God's will for your life. And for those who probably don't know what the will of God is, this is to make them know so that they can do them and so that they can be blessed by God. The Bible says that um, the commandment of God is a lamp, it's a light unto our path, it gives life. Today's divine instruction is that you should bury the past and step into your future. Bury the past and step into your future. Probably some things have happened to you, probably you have been hurt by someone or some people, or probably you did some things you realized you shouldn't have done. Or maybe you went far away from God. This is to teach you what to do so that you can put your past behind you. Move forward and you can still fulfill your destiny. In Isaiah 52 verse 2, the Bible says, Shake yourself from the dust. This is the first thing you need to do. This is what God wants you to do. Shake yourself from the dust. Rise up. Arise. Sit down, O Jerusalem, or whatever your name is. Sit down, Iredele. Sit down, whoever you are. That verse continues. Lose yourself from the bones of your neck. Lose yourself, O captive daughter of Zion. This is what you are supposed to do. Shake yourself from the dust. Arise, and then sit down, and lose yourself from the bones of your neck. But without God, you, you won't be able to do this. It's not easy to arise, shake yourself from the dust, sit down, remove the bonds. Without God, you cannot do it. And so you need God. But this is what you need to do. And God is talking to you today. And I'm glad that you have joined me on this program. So you will know what to do and get the best in life. In one of my novels, Love on the Pulpit, Tenny was raped at the age of eight by twice by family members. And for a long time, those experiences haunted her. She didn't know what to do. Eventually, she met um, Pastor Dave. And Pastor Dave began to cancel her. And he told her, Put your past behind you. You have to, don't allow your past to tie you down. Don't allow Satan to hold you down. And I don't know what you have gone through. I don't know what you have experienced. I don't know what is haunting your life. God is talking to you today. Don't allow Satan or that experience to keep you bound. God is calling your name. God wants to help you. He wants to bless you. And you can do it. In John chapter 10 verse 10, the Bible makes us to know that the thief has come to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus has come that we may have life and that we may have it in abundance. Satan is the one who made all those things happen. Jesus was talking to his disciples and Jesus said, the enemy has done this. Whatever you went through, whatever happened to you, whatever is haunting your life, whatever is stopping you, Whatever that discouragement is, whatever that sin is, whatever that pain is, whatever caused it, God wants you to know that he did not cause it. He did not make it happen to you. The enemy of your soul, the enemy, Satan, has done this. But God wants to bring you out of it. He wants you to bury your past and step into your future. Paul said the same thing uh, in Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Paul said, I do not count myself to have apprehended. 
I do not count my last like saying I do not count myself to have to have everything put together. Paul said, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. And you might you must, some of those things might still be there, a little pain. You still think about some things and all of that. But like Paul, this is one thing you need to do. Forget the things that are behind. And then verse 14 says, reaching forward to those things which are ahead. There's still a lot that is ahead of you. You have your life to live. So many things that you can still do. It is never too late for you. Never too late. Some people might have told you or you might have been thinking in your heart. Maybe it's too late. No, it is not too late. Child of God. Especially if you know God. It is not too late. Reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. You may be wondering how do I achieve it? How do I bury my past? How do I move beyond my past? It's difficult. Pastor Taiwo is difficult. Yes. Some things might be difficult to do. And in this case, it's not so easy to, especially if you are still hurting, it's not easy to put it behind you. But I'm telling you that with God, you can do it. I understand how you feel. But you can do it. And God wants you to do it. If you ask him for help. I also want you to know that you are never alone. Never alone. Ask God for help. And if you are a child of God, you have an advantage. You have the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 14, from verse 16, the Bible makes us to know that the, God has given us a helper, the comforter. He's our advocate, our intercessor, our counselor, our strength now, our standby. Jesus said, the Father we give, has given us the Holy Spirit to be with us forever, to be with you forever. He's also the spirit of truth. And verse 17 says, He will remain with you continually and will be in you. So this is what you need to do. Rely on the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what do I need to do? Sometimes I face some challenges. Whenever, whenever I am um, facing some challenges, I, I ask for the for help of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me. What should I do? And He has never failed. He tells me what to do. He encourages me. Hold on. To continue to put your trust in God and all of that. And I do it and I overcome whatever it is. And if I can do it, you can do it. You can do it. So involve the Holy Spirit. Maybe you don't know the Holy Spirit yet. Maybe you have never been intimate with him. You don't know him. You don't know his works. To come out and out of your situation, to put to put the uh, past behind you. The first thing is to become a child of God. Give your life to Jesus. Ask Jesus to come into your life. That's the first step. And then involve the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit, Spirit to help you. What should I do? And whatever He tells you to do, do it, and you begin to get out of the situation things will get better and better I don't know what the past is what that problem is maybe someone hurt you or maybe you are the one who hurt someone or you hurt some people or maybe you went to places you should not have been maybe you did things you should not have done things that you are not proud of and you are wondering how do I put my past behind me you can do it with the help of God. Whatever God tells you to do, to do, do it. God may tell you to approach that person you have offended and ask for forgiveness. God will tell you, certainly, if someone has offended you, God will tell you to forgive that person. Whatever it is, God will show you the way. 
I want you to put your trust in God. But God is calling your name. Don't let Satan hold you down any longer. Sometimes you have already wasted some time. But don't waste any, more, any time again. There's no time to waste again. There's a purpose for your life. God is calling your name. It is time to put the past behind you. And it is time for you to arise and shine. And lose the bond from your neck. And begin to serve God. And as you begin to do this, I pray that the strength of God, the power of God will come upon you. The same spirit of God that is helping me, that is upholding me, I pray to come upon you and strengthen you and help you to glorify God, to put the past behind you and fulfill your purpose in life. In Jesus' name, God bless you.